In this MMP1 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an external input. Now, um, I've shown you how to use the setup wizard, which is a very quick and easy way to set up external inputs, speaker systems, and all that sort of stuff. But once you've already had your initial setup um, up and running in, in the MMP1, and you might want to add another monitor source, another input to the unit. So this is how you do it. So here I'm on the main page. What I'm going to do first is go to the settings page and uh, then we're going to go to the monitor matrix uh, sub tab here. And here's where you can see the monitor matrix in, the monitor matrix out. Now uh, this configuration um, was made with a 5.1 speaker configuration. So the main monitor is six channels wide. And the main monitor source, the first monitor source, is the Nuendo 5.1 output, which is also six channels wide. So there are two other external inputs. One was uh, the MacBook, and one was like a, for an iPhone or something like that. And you can see that here on the main page. Nuendo, MacBook, iPhone. Back to the settings page. If we want to add another monitor source, all we have to do is go to the fourth one here, which right now is zero channels, meaning it doesn't exist. Let's say we wanted to add another 5.1 monitor source. So I use the menu here and choose six channels. Okay, now we have monitor source number four. That's it for this page. Then you go to the monitor matrix page here. And now you can see this new monitor source number four. Now you'll need to choose some physical inputs for this monitor source. In this case, I'm going to use the AES digital input starting at channel nine. So th this is how we do that. If you right click and select all six channels in that monitor source, and then we go to the AES uh, submenu here, I'm going to choose the starting channel. Now you'll see it's automatically routed from 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Monitor source number four, already done. So if we go back to the main page and we select that monitor source, then let's go back to the monitor matrix and there you go. You can see how the external input is now routed to the main monitor, uh, main monitor channel, the 5.1 channel. Then if you go to the main page again, monitor source number four is now routed to the main outputs. In this case, the 5.1 speaker system. There you go. That's how you create another external input for your configuration in the MMP1.